I am your host with the most, holding it down from coast to coast, smooth as the butter that you put on your toast. That's right, the one, the only, Money Flippin' Matt Richards, a.k.a. Matt Was Funny. Bimini Bob, respect, big up yourself, top shot on undata, nobody bother. All right, if you've played this game before, you know what's up. All right, I'm gonna ask you 12 questions. They start out easy, but they get harder than trying to get out of a speeding ticket with a glazed donut. Officer, I know it's going really fast, but look at the sprinkles. Look at them, yeah. You got 10 seconds to tap the correct answer. Answer all of them correctly, and you win HQ Trivia. That's right, tonight we got $5,000 up for the taking. How much money will you be making? Y'all know about points, right? You earn points by answering questions correctly or sharing the social from the HQ app. Points help you reach levels. Leveling up gives you free passes. A free pass gives you a question, you know, it lets you get a question wrong and stay in the game. The higher your level, the more free passes you have and you can climb. As high as level 10, babies. That's right, if you hit level 10, you only gotta answer a few questions correctly to win HQ for the entire season, okay? For every point earned by H quizzes, the prize is gonna keep on growing till the season finale at the end of this month. End of February, that's the season finale, y'all. And this season, we're giving out more money than we ever had before, especially last season. Let's check in on the prize. Oh! oh holy moly! Guacamole! Look at that, $80,000. Whoo! $80,975, but it's gonna keep on growing and growing and getting bigger and bigger. You feel me? Yeah, you're gonna want an extra life and an eraser, okay? Because extra lives keep you in the game after you get a question wrong. You can buy one now if you see it on your screen. An eraser, those things eliminate one of the wrong answers, giving you a 50-50 chance of getting it right. Remember, you can only use one of these per game, not on the final round, okay? Ah, now Valentine's Day is this week, and we're celebrating all week long. That's right, on Thursday, put on your Manolo Blanc, Blanix. That's how you can tell I ain't never had no money. I don't know how to pronounce it. Manolo Blanix. Grab a Cosmo. We're doing Sex in the City trivia, babies. Are you a Carrie or a Miranda? You're going to find out Thursday at 9 p.m. Uh, that's right. Before we get started, I got to give a special happy birthday shout out to Christian in Maplewood, New Jersey. You're nine years old now. That's crazy. You got one more year to double digits. So just, you know, live it up. Enjoy. Whatever the heck nine-year-olds do in 2019. Fortnite, video game, I don't know. Okay, cool. Also, Ramsey out in Knoxville, he's pretty convinced that season two is all his. So if you think you go, uh, you're gonna win season two, let me see something in the chat. Throw up like a, a fire emoji. Right? Yeah, let's get excited. It's heating up, babies. All right, y'all ready to start this game? Nothing to it, but to HQ it. Let's kick it off with question number one. What organ mainly pumps blood through the human body? Liver, heart, or church organ? What's it gonna be? My tie is crooked. So very crooked, baby. All right, a church organ can get you to feel like your blood is really moving, but the answer is heart. Yeah. Props to the heart, just pumping away all day long. 354,289 are going to question number two. The word lunatic comes from when people believed mental health was connected to what? String cheese, the moon, or Instagram stories? <laughs> What's it gonna be? Lock it in, time is up babies, okay. You can find stories about how there seem to be more injuries during full moons, but it's usually when there's a full moon on the weekends. So the moral of that story is, uh, be careful out there on the weekends. Yeah, the moon was the answer. Lunatics, like the Saint Lunatics. That was, uh, was it Nelly? Yeah. Better up, <laughs> 348,021. Got that one right, it's time for question number three. Let's get it. Which of these shapes can be isosceles? Triangle, circle, or cube? Lock in your answers. Shout out to my math teacher, Ms. Zelnick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she was never nice to me. You hear about that on my comedy album. Okay, oh, well, an isosceles cube would be insane. You know, if you have one. Tweet us about it. 
Let me know if you've ever seen an isosceles cube. The only shape that we know can be isosceles is the triangle. That's right. That's when two of the sides are the same length. 341,886. I got it right. That's a triangle for you. Moving on to the tippy top. Question number four. Which of these TV talent competitions has not featured Simon Cowell as a judge? The Voice, American Idol, or America's Got Talent? What's it gonna be? Hmm. I mean, this whole genre uh, took off in the US when American Idol premiered in 2002. Yes, complete with Simon Cowell. You know, he's done some things since then, but they've kept him clear from The Voice. This is the boys! That's when they turn around. I love that show. I play it at home when I'm I turn my chair away from the TV. And if they sing really good, I go, ooh, who's that? But nobody ever wants to be on my team. Probably because they can't hear me. 319,730 are feeling good. Here we go. Ah, 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 ah. Question five. Question five. Side note, if you want me to do a different Question 5 song, hit me up on social media. Tell me what, tell me what y'all want to hear. I'm open to suggestions. I'm, I, I can switch it up. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. Question 5. Ragdoll is a breed name of what kind of animal? Cat, dog, or horse? A ragdoll, babies. What's it going to be? All right, this animal has a white coat, big blue eyes, and since it's known for liking cuddles and being carried around, it's nicknamed the puppy of cats. Oh! Oh! Oh, my heart! Oh, that was... Oh, can we play that again? Can we play it one more time? Oh! Oh, he's on a little... <laughs> what is it doing? Come on, cat! Stop it! Oh, that was great. Uh, 189,790, y'all. That, y'all, that tickled me so good. Oh. Oh, animals are the best. Okay, question number six. In the Godfather trilogy, what food seems to appear whenever a character is about to meet their demise? Fish, oranges, or bread? This is a question you shouldn't get wrong. Okay. Whether they're buying it, eating it, or there's a basket in the shot. Keep your distance from a Corleone if there's an orange nearby. Take a look. It's better, Fredo. I'm gonna buy some fruit. Let me tell you. It's the wrap. Right after the... <sighs> we can't show that. This is a family show. Yes, y'all. Uh, yes, yes, y'all. And you don't stop. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Mm. Savage Quest is on. Sorry you got it, though. Savage Quest is on. That's a savage quest song. Y'all thought it was fish, but it wasn't fish. It was oranges. Woo! 113,144. Got that one. You're moving on to question number seven. But don't worry, okay? I don't have no oranges for y'all, but I do have a gift drop, all right? When you see the chest appear on your screen, you better tap it until it opens. Ready? Go! Tap, 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 tap. Don't stop tapping. Don't stop. Keep up with the tap stuff. Don't stop till you get enough. Keep up with the tap stuff. Don't stop till you tap it up. Woo! Did you get something? Hmm? If you got an extra like, don't forget, you can use it on words as well. That starts right after this game, okay? Yes, yes. And you don't stop. Question number seven. Who recorded a 1967 album that spent more time on the Billboard charts than the, than the year the Beatles, Sgt. Pepper? The Beach Boys, The Monkees, or Herb Alpert? That was a long question. I was, just, I was like, ooh, okay, here we go. Mm. At the end of 67, this was the first rock album ever to be the year's bestseller. Proof of the power of having your own sitcom and the talent of the monkeys. Then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. I want a tambourine for HQ. I think I'm gonna, not a trace. No doubt in my mind, I'm in love, ooh, I oh, what is that? What? Oh! Oh! 75,000 of y'all got that one right. 
Can you go to school to learn how to play one of these? I have no idea. Tell me in the chat. Okay, question number eight. Hope you're feeling great. A popular early search engine was named for what author's creation? Arthur Conan Doyle, P.G. Woodhouse, or J.M. Barry? It's a popular early search engine. Okay. All right, this site is still around using the shorter name, ask.com. But back in the 90s, it was known as Ask Jeeves. And quite clearly, based on the Jeeves and Wooster series of P.G. Woodhouse, y'all. 37,989, I got it right. It's time for question number nine. Hope you're feeling fine. Which of these phrases appears in the preamble to the U.S. Constitution? We hold these truths, well-regulated militia, or domestic tranquility? Preamble to the U.S. Constitution. This is where you gonna find one of these. All right, we hold these truths is from the Declaration of Independence. Independence, yeah, which told King George about reality, American style. The militia is in the Second Amendment, and you can't be a preamble if you're an amendment. Yeah, domestic tranquility wins, babies. 26,543 in the place to be. I'm moving on to question number 10 with me. Let's go to work. That was fun. I feel like, I feel like I'm in like a Baptist church. Who is ready for a Q? I said, Jesus! <laughs> okay. Question 10. Which word refers to human-shaped figurines often used in European-style board games? Oakens? Meeples or Freddy's? What's it going to be? Yep, I'm trying to, you know, I see y'all in the chat talk crap about my tie. Y'all all, y'all love to kick a man when he's down. Okie dokie. <laughs> Originally made for the game Carcassonne, these pieces caught on so well that there's now custom pieces for lots of games. And whether or not they're made of maple, they're called Meeples! Meeples, y'all! Yeah, party meeples! 23,356 got that one right. It's time for question number 11. All dogs go to heaven, baby! That's right. At the 1936 Summer Olympics, what two nations discovered they had the same flag? Poland and Monaco, Haiti and Liechtenstein, Cuba and Chile. They had the same flag. That's some wild stuff. Some real freaky, freaky business. Okay, what's more embarrassing than showing up to the Olympics dressed as the same, uh, as this, you're dressed the same as some other country? You know what I'm saying? That's a, like a fashion faux pas. Fortunately, the addition of a coat of arms and a crown solved the confusion between the red and blue bands of Haiti and Liechtenstein. 19,167. I'm moving on to question number 12. Woo, question 12. What's that smell? Smells like money. Follow me and Matt, what's funny? Woo, question 12. The question 12. Question 12, question 12. Oh, all right. Here we go. Which of these Shakespeare's does not contain a play within a play? Midsummer Night's Dream, Much Ado About Nothing, or Love's Labor's Lost? What's it gonna be? Did y'all see Inception? Hmm? Shakespeare did it first, sort of. It was more like a playception. Yeah, but despite having a clown, there's no play in a play in Much Ado About Nothing. 7,080, just one HQ trivia. Woo! Yeah. I'm so proud of you. Look what you made me do. Hey. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations to all of the winners. All 7,080 of you. Splitting up that shmoney, using your levels. Let's see who we got in the place. Select Ren, you got apples. 
We heard, hey, congratulations, Peggy Fee, <laughs> super bad, gentle ox, fight for your fists, something, per pivix, and Stacy 745. Just a few of the 7,080 winners that we had tonight on HQ Trivia. Oh, don't forget, babies, HQ Words is up next, okay? So don't put your phone down, leave it in your hand, all right? You can maybe go to the bathroom, go to the fridge, get you a nice little refreshment. Not from the bathroom, but from the fridge. Yeah, you did it! Welcome to the HQ Leaderboard, y'all. Don't forget, like I said, words is just seconds away, okay? Come back tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern for more trivia and more money. I've been your host, Matt Richards. Follow me on the socials at Matt Was Funny. Remember, the more you play, the more we pay. I'm gonna go start a band on the sidewalk. <laughs>